I train my own AI model within three hours with the help of ChatGPT 4.0. And yes, you can become a product manager or AI product manager without knowing how to code. It has been a fact that AI already gradually replaced software engineering and any other professions. And artificial intelligence industry as a whole is growing 37% year over year in the upcoming 10 years. As a product manager, if we are not equipped with those AI skills and knowledge, it's very likely we'll be eliminated in the job market in the coming two to five years. In this video, I dive deeper and get hands-on experience by experimenting with different type of AI models and discover some shocking results. Make sure to stay until the end of this video where I share with you how product managers today is going to survive and succeed in this AI era. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a direct product featured in Forbes and also the host of Product Manager Insider Podcast. I've helped thousand people land the dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we cover tech trends and free product management training. Like and subscribe. Check out new video every Tuesday. I did very comprehensive comparison between ChatGPT 4.0 and other models out there. And also look at different kind of pricing model of the API and the developer ecosystem. I discovered the top six shocking ways that AI is going to impact product management forever. Number one. 10 times faster in terms of product development. In the past two years, AI industry exploded. All the fan companies and tier one companies started to create their own LLM models, such as Amazon, Google, Meta, and of course, all led by OpenAI. And there are so many existing models today that we, as a product manager, do not need to go backwards to create the foundational models anymore. All we need to focus on how do we leverage those existing fundamental models to use API to create applications on top of this. This actually speed up the software development 10 times faster. For example, when I built my first AI product, in 2016, which received the Mayor's Best Practice Award. At the time, I needed a team of 20 engineers to train the machine vision algorithm to help cities reduce car crashes. And the only model I was able to leverage at the time is the object detection pre-trained model by NVIDIA. You're right, I've been NVIDIA customers and their fans since 2016. They've been very impressive since the growth of NVIDIA stock recently. They definitely deserve a spotlight. But however, in 2016, the NVIDIA fundamental models can only help me to detect the basic object detection such as cars, bikes, and pedestrians. And I still need to collect so much data to continue training the model to improve the accuracy. Now, fast forward, there's a free machine vision model, TensorFlow, which is open source software. And Google also has those free tools for you to directly do tagging and improving and training their existing model. And majority of the models out there has multi-modality. For example, they can directly process text to text, text to voice, text to video, and video to text and process all the voice text and video at the same time based on the latest ChatGPT 4.0 demo right here. And the API price of ChatGPT 4.0 is also half of what they had in the past. So what it means that it's actually 10 times faster and also 50% cheaper compared with a few months ago. It's definitely speed up the development process significantly. I've seen several AI startups that are able to build the AI MEP just within like three months by leveraging those existing models. I made in-depth video regarding the day in life as AI product manager in this video right here. You can check it out and dive deeper. I'm also going to link it in the description of this video. The second impact of AI on product management is voice a customer interview and a customer discovery. I was literally mind blown regarding how fast it can help me to summarize voice a customer interview and create a customer persona. Specifically, I did real life testing. When I created my AI product management course, I've interviewed over 30 different people to understand the needs, desire, and pain point. What do you want to learn in terms of becoming an AI product manager? And then I recorded those voice of customer interviews and then upload the video format to YouTube as an unlisted video. And I discovered GPT called Video Summarizer, which is inside of ChatGPT Marketplace. And the video summarizer was able to access and transcribe the entire video and give me the summary of the voice customer interview within 
two seconds. And then I gave ChatGPT the examples of customer persona template and to create customer persona based on the voice of customer interview. And it actually summarized the pain point and needs desire of customers very well. After creating customer persona through 30 different kind of voice of customer interviews, I asked ChatGPT to create me a lean canvas, which is an advanced version of creating an entire product, go-to-market strategies, and pricing model. And the outcome was also extremely impressive. What I discovered with ChatGPT 4.0 is that the Persona Link Canvas is good, but it cannot make me stand out because all other coaches can create the AI curriculum just asking ChatGPT. So therefore, I had another 10 hours brainstorming session with my multiple AI coaches who was already product manager working as AI product managers in many different companies. Then I turned this hours of brainstorming session I had with other AI experts in fan companies and leading companies. Then I upload all the hours of conversation with AI leaders in different kind of tier one companies to ChatGPT and ask it to ChatGPT 4.0 and ask it to summarize those conversation with me and highlight the key insight through those hours back and forth brainstorming conversation. And that's how the best AI product management curriculum was actually generated with the help of ChatGPT 4.0. And then it gave me the week by week curriculum design in terms of topics, activities, and live case studies. It summarized extremely well and very well documented. If you want to review the entire AI product management course curriculum, feel free to go to the link in the description of this video and download it and join me for my upcoming AI product management course. I'm gonna link the website in the description of this video as well. The third impact to product management is even more mind-blowing. Believe me, this is true. It's changed dramatically how we interact with software engineers. Potentially, it can replace software engineer. Many product managers need to communicate closely with engineers. And one of the biggest pain points and fear is that a lot of product managers, including myself, do not know how to code. They just feel like they're not technical enough to have a full conversation with engineers and also gain their respect. But guess what? With the innovation of ChatGPT 4.0, someone like me who doesn't know how to code, I was able to train my own AI model with the help of ChatGPT 4.0. It is mind blowing. Here is how I did it. The purpose of this AI project is to train an existing model, which is TensorFlow, by feeding hundreds of flower images into an existing model to fine tune it, and let the AI model be able to detect any kind of flower species moving forward. But based on the fact that I don't know how to code, and I decide to give it a try and ask ChatGPT 4.0 to help me out. I told the ChatGPT that I don't know how to code, and I want to give me a step-by-step -step instructions on how to train the TensorFlow, which is an open source model and how I'm able to use API to feed those 700 different kind of flower images to TensorFlow and start training TensorFlow and also help me to set up the virtual machine on my local MacBook computer. And ChatGPT was able to give me step-by-step -step instructions and plot the specific code I need to upload to my terminal. So therefore, it's the first time in my life I was able to create tens of thousands of lines of code writing in Python with the help of ChatGPT and it's all like flowing in the background as you can see right now. And it only took me three hours to train the very first AI model in my life without actually knowing how to code. But I was able to generate thousands of code and Chabi were able to help me to debug because my computer was provisioned in different ways and help me create a virtual machine as well on my local computer. It only took me three hours on Saturday night. So therefore, knowing how to do prompt engineering and interfacing with LAN models is going to remove the bottleneck of existing product managers who doesn't know how to code. But this also leads into the important skills the product manager need to have and the leverage, which is our communication skills. Because it's easier for us to build trust with our software engineers compared with AI building trust with software engineers because likely they're kind of replacing each other's job. So therefore, product managers are not going to be replaced by AI shortly, but we must master how to use those AI tools efficiently. I'm going to talk more at the end of this video regarding new roles of AI in power product management during the later part of this video. If you find all the tips very useful and mind-blowing, make sure to like this video and comment what do you think AI is going to transform product management. Number four, data-driven decision-making process is much more common and easier with help of AI and ChatGPT 4.0 moving forward. In today's ChatGPT 4.0 model, you're actually able to use it to process your existing data and generate different kind of charts. 
especially can help you to modify your chart and give you guidance to clean up your data. And most importantly, all product managers must understand how to use those open source models and libraries such as Hugging Face to train your existing model and collect additional data. If today you go to Hugging Face, it has all different kinds of data you can imagine being processed and trained and cleaned up by other contributors to this open source space. When I launched my first 5G edge computing product in the world in collaboration with AWS and Microsoft, I analyzed over 170 different kinds of product information on AWS website and reverse engineered the pricing model of AWS and discovered those six different factors that change and impact AWS prices or the cloud product. But, and that specific product took me like weeks to run those data modeling to understand exactly how AWS price is cloud services. If I had ChatGPT today, I can simply feed all the different kind of pricing and data information of the existing of 170 different kind of AWS product into ChatGPT and then it summarize for me and also build those data model for me. Potentially, I can save my weeks of work into a few hours or day max. Number five, all product managers must learn how to use AI as a companion to brainstorm ideas. For example, when I create my AI product management course, I want the student to have the experience of creating their own AI project. However, all the student has different levels of experiences, different backgrounds. So I literally spent days figure out what's the best methodology to create different type of project for them to work on. And then I started this brainstorming session with ChatGPT. It was able to give me 10 different kind of ideas. To be frank, not all 10 ideas are good. Maybe one idea I think is good enough for me to continue to evolve and develop on top of it. But it is a foundation for me to think through different kind of idea and also kill some really bad ideas. But the tricky part is that people must understand how to select good ideas and bad ideas generated by AI. That really depends on your prior personal experience. For example, I'm the expert of machine vision. I launched my own award winning in 2016. So therefore, whenever AI gave me those kind of ideas, I was able to see it from different level to understand this is too entry level or this is something that kind of great. So therefore, make sure you leverage prior experience and know how to judge the outcome of AI. Select the best idea. And of course, the other nine ideas, I think is not good enough for my standard. Guess what? This video outline was also created by AI. However, I tried different kind of model, figure out which models actually give me those kind of very engaging content. And I discovered that Gemini actually is the best in terms of giving more conversational, engaging content with my audience. Number six, AI is going to help with productivities and our day-to-day -day work. For example, a lot of my social media and marketing campaign was assisted and generated by AI. So my social media marketing manager just need to do QA and brainstorm with different kind of AI tools to figure out what's the most engaging content instead of starting from scratch. And this also have a significant outcome for my business, which is I downsize my team. I discovered that with the help of AI, my old social media manager was able to finish his task within four hours up to eight hours. So that leading to some good or bad outcome depends on how you see it. So I decided to let go one of my old social media manager, have the new social media manager take over two people's tasks with the help of AI. So AI definitely going to help lots of business owners to optimize efficiency efficiency of the team for sure. By now you probably think about well clearly Dark Nancy just gave me examples how AI is going to replace software engineers and marketers and real life examples of her letting go people in her team. So is this going to reduce the number of product managers in the teams moving forward? Now let me give you my expert opinion. I don't think AI is going to replace product managers, but AI is going to change how product managers do their work moving forward. First of all, definite AI cannot replace the creativity and the common and human relationship building part of product managers. And product managers are also better at understanding customer empathy and the creating product strategy. Because when I test out the strategy created by AI, I, none of those strategies impress me. And I always need to leverage the existing brainstorming idea and creating very outstanding product strategies created by myself as a product leader. Therefore, AI is not going to replace product managers, but all product managers must learn how to leverage AI use prompt engineering to enhance the quality of work and also make you way more efficient. And second, product managers must learn how to leverage those human skills because those customer empathy, communication, building trust, building reports is actually very difficult to be earned and gained by AI right away. So therefore, we only need to see AI as a tool and strengthen our skills as product strategies 
thought leaders, and the human relationship building. The number of most important skills for all product managers to master is prompt engineering, so that you know how to master those skills and make yourself become AI superpowered product managers in the job market. In my upcoming AI product management course, I'm also going to teach you how to use prompt engineering to create your own AI product. If you're interested in building hands-on AI project, become an AI product manager, you should go to the link in the description to download the AI product management curriculum course and learn more in our upcoming course launch in June 2024. I'm going to link it in the description of this video. You should also start learning for free by watching how to add AI to Instagram roadmap real life case studies and check out this video right here. If you find this video extremely useful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. This is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMXSerator.io. See you in my next video right here.